Hello everybody, welcome to the draw for the CCL Season 40 Champions Cup Chalice Playoffs, whatever you want to call it. I'm here with Purple Chest, hello. Good evening, good evening. And uh, let's go through the draw and uh, have a look. So we've got Embarrassingly Awkward versus Average Danger Wonk. Um, and Embarrassingly Awkward is Andy Davos Orcs. And they are an absolute monster team, unbelievably good record. Um, and a very, very scary 2K Orc team. Looks awesome. Yeah, absolutely. This is, I mean, this has got to be considered a, a chalice contender. It's got everything you'd want on an Orc team and then lots of Frenzy as well. Um, that was the meme he was playing with this time, uh, was Frenzy first on the Black Orcs. It seems to have paid off. They were huge. They were up right at the top of the ladder. Um, they've got a, a plus agility Mr. Throw, which is going to really help with one of the big uh, problems with Orcs, which is getting that ball up and safe. Still only move five because Mr. Throws are terrible and you shouldn't have them. Yep. Um, but there's plenty of other things around. There's even an agility uh, blitzer to take the ball, uh, which would have been much better and fire Mr. Throw, but it won't. Uh, but he's there as a handoff option. Lots of killing options, lots of good Black Orcs. This is going to be an absolute monster for anyone that's facing it, and of course it will somehow manage to lose in round one. <laughs> he's got two Tackle Bombers as well, which is going to come in useful because he is up against Martin Septim's uh, Amazons, and he's going to crush them, let's be honest. We don't even hardly need to look at this team, but he's got, he's got six guard. But, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately the Orcs have got plenty of Mighty Blow Tackle, which will um, delete those Amazons reasonably quickly. Uh, that said, Martin Septon's no fool. Amazons can be awkward. The Black Orcs will be less use than they would have been otherwise. Um, there is a couple of stand firms, which you know the friends will get them extra hits on, but it won't be able to move them around. Uh, he's going to get a Wiz and maybe even someone over the top. Um, or a bribe over the top, or another apothecary over the top. I, I can see a way in which the Amazons win that, but I then can't. I wake up. <laughs> um, well, okay. The, the way the way the, the way the Amazons win that is by uh, Andy losing connection, basically. I think. <laughs> well, Andy, yeah. I mean, or just the Andy curse. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is Pi claw them to bits. No, versus P.I. versus Claude and a bit. Oh, God. It's already a disaster. P.I. Woody's in again. Oh. Right. This is Eludius um, with 1820 Woodies. A movement 10. Uh, sure feet, but not sprint. He took leap instead of sprint um, on his move yeah. 10 character. So he's not a nutty. That's, that's a choice. And that's about all he's got. 18-3-3 um, three, three, though. Nice record. Yeah, I mean, Wood Elves, they can get nice records without particularly working hard, can't they? But uh, mm. let's not get away from it. This team is absolutely terrible. Yeah. But he's up against Mr. Page, clawing in a bit. And that's a pretty nice draw for him, isn't it? Mr. Page. Yeah. They come with Sprint. I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. They've come with Sprint. Yep. Yes, so uh, move 10, it already gets there. I'm trying um, to go fast. I'm trying to go fast. All right, I, everyone fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have hated um, a, a sidestep there, because even then, just getting those extra moves and uh, being wherever you want to be can sometimes be useful. Um, but Leap <laughs> does make it a natty that leaps. Mr. Page traditionally has a lot of problems against I've elves, uh, yeah. but he's brought a couple of elf-like himself. He's got uh, a lovely agility 5 beastman there and a vampire. A strength for agility for Beastman too. So he's got some answers, but and lots of kill and lots of claw. So the the tree, there was a tree, wasn't there? Uh, is in danger. I don't know. I blink. I missed the team. Um, I think everybody. the Woodies can probably do this. Yeah, I think they can. But I mean, is it? it like, it's not a great record for Mister Page. Like it's no. it's all right, but um, it's it's a pretty nice team. It really is. But yeah, I think he yeah. he does tend to struggle against uh, you know elves and obviously with an elves with an actual natty because they start with sprint. Of course, everybody knows that. Yeah, um, uh, he does have. Uh, I should point out to tackle mighty blow pom pieces. So the claw might be bloat, but there's still plenty of kill on that team. He he could very easily delete all the wood elves. Yep. Um. And then we've got Unseen Walker with Dwarves. He's, he's been a Blitz Pit and a JFW veteran, 1982. He's finally gone, putting the CCL run together. 
Um, it's a dwarf yeah, team. He's got very, very nice dwarf team here. Uh, really nicely built. Really good record. Uh, me and him were pushing each other for the fourth spot towards the end of the season, and he his team is just much, much better, much more solidly built. Dwarves up to 13, lots of good toys up at the top end with the Slayers, good Blitzers, really solid beards. That's going to be a nightmare for anyone to face. It is an, oh wow, that is an unfortunate draw for Misspelled Tree. Uh, <laughs> Misspelled Tree is up against it. I mean, it's yes and no, they're still Dwarves, they're still incredibly slow. Um, but yeah, it's you know it's avoid the lava. Every dwarf that touches you can kill you, so stay away from all of them all the time. Yeah. Uh, which with eleven elves isn't going to be easy. However, just enough that uh, I didn't see if there's so will financial fair play allow a wizard over the top? I think probably not. Probably because there's forty uh, bloat here, isn't there at the moment? Oh yeah, no. If you drop the bloat, yes, I think you probably can squeeze a wiz in. I think uh, Unseen was up in the 18s, so yeah, probably just about. Uh, that could change it hugely. Yeah. Um, another near natty there. That actually is a near natty, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, all right, everyone. Okay. Everyone, let's let's forget about the sprint thing, okay? I know they start with sprint. All right, I just made a mistake. Let's move on. And um, one of the war dancers up there was move nine as well. Again, very near that uh, that near natural. <laughs> Oh my god, Gosling's acting quite. range, what a team. <laughs> oh, this is against Timmy. Right. Oh. A large thud. Gosling's acting range. Amazing. Um oh no, it's actually not as is not as insulting as I <laughs> as I expected it to be. <laughs> um But yeah, it's an elf team. Um, decent record. Uh, yeah, good, decent record, decent number of elves. He's got the right number of catchers. Uh, there's really low armor all over. Uh, but of course, Nerve of Steel, it's it's going to go where it wants. The Blitzers are really ordinary. Um, the catchers are good, but the Blitzers obviously died and were replaced because yeah. they're incredibly ordinary. Um, yeah. Four guard across the team is very, very useful. Very nice, yeah. Um, Obviously, you'd expect to be outguarded if you're up against a bash team, though, wouldn't you? Yes, um, I'm sure Dimmy's team has has more than four guard. Uh, here obviously, it is. it's a bash team, and oh, oh. no, it's only got three. Ah, oh, so the pro elves have the guard advantage against the bash team. He's not against um, Dimmy. Yeah, he is against Dimmy. All right, you meant yeah, that. Yeah, he's against Dimmy. Yeah. Uh, he's got Dimmy's got a mighty blow. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's got a tackle. Yeah. And he's in the chalice. Well done. He's in the chalice. Well done, Dimmy. He's in the oh, chalice. Right. Well done, Dimmy. Wait. Right. Absolutely, calcium cas. That's <laughs> all Dimmy wants. Yeah. Uh, all that he wants is to be in the chalice for a single round. Oh, well. I mean, he's well done. Well done, Dimmy. Yeah. You got on the right bus. You are in the chalice. Well done, Dimmy. Well uh, done. <laughs> God, he has um, caution with some nerds. Yeah. Not that is some record. nugs. Not a great record, but who cares? I mean, they build tough to get up, and once they get up, they kill everything. It's not a great team, um, though, is it? It's not a great team. It's yeah, carrying too many injuries. Uh, not it. The killers don't look particularly filthy. Even one of the killers is is move busted. Ball carriers all right. You know, two heads, blodge, tackle, you wrestle. You expect to see that, but no block. Yeah. So if it gets hit, that's a bit of a worry too. It's all right. It's not great. Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, indeed. Yeah. I mean, it could win because, you know, it could kill everything, but it won't. Something better will kill it. Or something elfy will elf it. What's it facing? Uh, I don't know. You, your microphone is horrible. Uh... <laughs> oh, sorry, I'll unplug and replug. <laughs> it's like popping all the time or something. I don't know what it is. Bloodbear, why couldn't I see it? Um, oh, it's fine. I was looking on page six. Never mind. He's up against Skaven um, with movement 10. You see he's taken sprint and show feet, so this makes him a natural one-turner, you see. Learn something about Blood Bowl now, don't you? Absolutely fantastic here. Um, yeah, great if you move 10 and have sprint, that's the 13 you need to not need any pushes. <laughs> yeah, great. This is terrible. This, this team looks about as bad as Dimmy's. It's more TV than Dimmy's as well. <laughs> Um, so yeah, yeah this, this um, could be tricky. I think mean, you know, caution might actually pick up a win. 
It sounds like physical rubbing of some kind. Yeah, it, it's it's super annoying, and it, it's that bad that I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to record a replay of my game to be honest in the BBSL because it was I listened to the VOD and it was like it was horrendous. So uh, there you go. <laughs> right, this this guy's fucked. <laughs> that's, that's my analysis. If you don't like it, um, well, I don't care. He is Sindane, he's got lizards. Okay, next. Okay. I'll have to have a listen back to some of my um, my audio and see if I do need to just get rid of this and get a whole new headset or something. Yeah, it was it was really rough, honest. Um, he's got a strength five, but he's only got four guards and. I guess he's got three, four. He couldn't have five guards. He can have five guards, which isn't that terrible. But he hasn't got a he hasn't got a Crocs, has he? No, he does. Okay, I missed the Crocs. Okay, so he's got yeah, he's got six it's, guards. So it's not that bad. It's solid. I mean, some of that's going to depend on where the where the skills are taken. It's it's okay. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Three. No, I think Sindane's got a decent team there. Yeah, and he is the defending champ, so you know he'll probably he'll probably play all right, won't he? Um, well, he's definitely got form. <laughs> yeah. Um, why are this? Why do people just have? Like, I literally look at the tag, and then I don't know what the next part is. <laughs> <laughs> that is how clans work. Do you yeah. Think? He's up against elves, who will be trying to molest his balls, um, and may well succeed. Uh, Fifteen two zero. So he's got a good record. But it's lacking a bit, isn't it? He has got a couple of stats, but one's on a rubbish thrower. This move now. Yeah, it, it, I think this is the typical mm. problem of, you know, you get a, a lovely early record, you get to the point where you've got the Dode, and really the team needs to develop with a few more games. But of course it risks dying in every single one of those. So you sort of pause and take the Chalice ticket. Yeah. So it, it's got to try and develop a bit during the Chalice. I mean, it can do that, but it's these are going to be tough games, of course. You know, small elves with some decent inducements, there's always a chance. Yeah, but not much. <laughs> but not much. Right. Ouch. This is Tempest Soul with Skaven. He hasn't got a natural one turner. <laughs> no, because there's uh, there's no sprint on that move, Ten. Yes, good runners don't start with sprint, you see. Learning things. Learning things in this stream. Um, this team's pretty rubbish. I imagine he'll lose in the first round unless he's up against a bad team or a bad coach. <laughs> yes, that doesn't look a particularly effective unit. Uh, they scave in again. You know, if the gutters get hold of the ball, if there's any kind of misfield or any kind of blitz, they can, uh, they can easily win a couple of rounds, even without much of a team. Oh, but he's up against Dorf, so he doesn't, he doesn't even get a wizard, I don't think. And this is a horrible min-max dwarf team. I mean, all dwarves are min-maxed, essentially, aren't they? Just by default. Uh, no Slayer. Got both Blitzers, but... Um, yeah. yeah, he's going to crush. He's going to crush them. Probably. 25-1, great record. Yeah, calling yep. up for the dwarves. <laughs> so, yeah... I mean, you can see how it, it doesn't work, but most times it almost certainly will. Yep. Right, now we've got Comfort Nurgle versus Orcs Build Wrong. I believe well, I that is... Comfort uh, Nurgle is Dionysian. Oh, wow, what a match this is! Yep, that's a round one classic there. We may have to um, oh, try wow. and find a cast of it. Oh, wow. So, after Dionysian's Nurgle dreams died in a blaze of mediocrity and death, um, he fell back on uh, some humans and some dwarves, and the dwarves went rather well. Oh, wow, um, it's a, both princes. Yeah, it's a two strength four. If you look, there's a plus agility plus move runner. It's got all the toys, but very little mighty blow um, yeah. for a dwarf team this size. There's only, uh, only the four, but it's got all the guard, it's got all the right amount of things like it's three stand for. Oh, no. um, it's. <laughs> There's, there's no bloat, considering it's 1860. It's it's a really nice, solid team of 13 dwarves. Ready he's, to go got, to war. he's got 11 guard. That's brilliant. <laughs> and 21-7-1. Uh, what a record. Unbelievable. Um, I mean, obviously we all know 
we all know that uh, Dio is great at Blood Bowl, don't we? He's not so bad at the BB, is he? He's alright, yeah. Um, I saw Rick's team and now I don't know where it is. Maybe I didn't see Rick's team. Rick's on page four. Okay, thank you very much, some guy. Um, but he is, I mean, this is a tough match for him. This is a tough match for Dio, isn't it? Very tough match. Rick's team. Is it, I mean, it's incredible. tough for both of them, isn't it? I mean, it's yeah. Yes, yeah. Again, this is this has come to the party. To um, I mean, the key difference here: lots and lots of guard, lots of strength. Uh, I mean, more strength than Dio, uh, less guard. But look at that mighty blow! Just an entire row of eight mighty blow orcs. <laughs> Everything that hits on this team hits with mighty blow. Yeah, yeah. That is nine mighty blow, isn't it? Because he's got the troll as well. Yeah, yeah. So nine mighty blow, but only well, it's going to be six guard, isn't it? Uh, it's going to be six yeah. guard on the team. Which, but yeah, he's got an extra. He's got an extra amount of strength and two strength ups as well. Yeah, um, I mean it's a classic matchup. Uh, I, I mean I do. I mean Rick's an extremely good coach, but I, I give Dio the slight edge there. Which of those two teams would I rather take in? Considering the dwarves will still get a wizard and perhaps an apothecary or two on top. Maybe even be able to rent a death roller in. I, I mean, just because I like the dwarves, I would probably take the dwarves. But I think the orcs are fifty-one forty-nine favourites. Maybe. Yeah. Hell of a game, though. Hell of a game. Yeah, that, that is going to be a hell of a game. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. That is the. That is the uh, the key to round one as well. Uh, the key to this winning this bracket, probably, isn't it? I think whoever wins that is favourite to win the bracket. I would say those two teams seem to be the best. Yeah, there's a couple of other reasonable teams around, but those two are, oh, are definitely Andy. stars in that for Andy's. Yeah. yeah, but of course, Andy, you know, to face those would have to win three rounds in a chalice, which <laughs> he would. Yeah. <laughs> Right, it's the darkness versus furniture. Oh, but he's got the ass. Isn't that interesting? The old ass. This this must be must be Chris, mustn't it? Um, You'd have thought so. Right. Oh, thank you very much, some guy. Um, it is. Oh well, we can write these off instantly. Seventeen fifty dark elves. Oh dear. Nineteen seventy-two. Oh yeah, ready to be deleted by somebody that knows what they're doing. Good luck, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's Chris. Oh wow, look, it's a Christopher team. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's exactly what. If you had to pick something to pick that dark tier, dark elf team apart, this would probably be it. <laughs> Except you might drop tackle on the second bull. Uh, but other than that, pff, that'll do. Lots of wrestle, lots of guard mighty. Yeah. Just a claw in there in case you really want to kill something. It's gonna destroy that dark elf team yeah. in about three turns. Yeah, it, it's not the best. It's not the best Chris team ever, right? It's only nineteen hundred no. TV. It's only thirty-two games. Um, Do you it's remember me as... versus Thomas T last season? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be pretty much like that. Yeah, absolutely. Brutal. Yeah, and of course the wizard might swing it. That is true. Um... Uh huh. I mean, it can happen. You know, we, we've all seen things like that happen. But it, you, you, if you had to put money down, you'd put it on Chris for that. Yeah. I would, I would and then you'd ask if it could be doubled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's Vava. Why don't I know Vava? I don't know. Oh, because he beat me with Very a human nice team. record. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> that's Very how. Very nice remember. record yeah, on incredible. humans. That's impressive. Yeah, he, he beat my. He beat the crap out of my high elves. Um, team's out. quite nice. It's got some toys. Yeah. The plus strength blitz is going to be incredibly useful. The fact that that's just got mighty blow and tackle means it's efficient and a great killer. Um, not enough guard for my liking. Very, very good at hunting down elves and things, but he's going to struggle to be agile enough against the bash teams, isn't he? Yes, yeah. This is going to be tricky if he's up against a heavy bash team. Um, and he is up against goblins. So this oh, is going to be a wonderful yeah, game and he gets for an easy win. And, he and then he gets deleted goblins. by Crucifer in round two, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is fair. Yeah. Sorry, um, Weblin. Yeah. You're up shit creep. Yeah, Weblin's, Weblin's got no chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not even a good goblin team. It's just really been. It stayed really low and efficient and banged out new teams. Yeah. Right. Which is fine. You know, he got to the chalice with it, so well done. Got a good record on them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ooh, and wow. you know, with some with some toys and inducements, maybe, but no. Ooh, Kill Bill with a 38 8 middling sort of record, but it got in. Two strength ups, five guards, yeah. and three more guards as well on Linos. Holy moly, eight guard humans. Mm, yeah, lovely. <laughs> um, that's a very sexy human team, but it's still humans. Um, <laughs> I'd have to see what they're up against, but I like it. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um... Too much bloat even on the ogre, you know, just a guard on him. Yeah. Which is as efficient about probably as an ogre can be. Unless mm -hmm. it's going to get doubles, that's probably their peak. Justicium. Oh god, he's going to crush these. Well, except it's Justicium, right? It is Justicium. Oof. Yeah, blimey. Um, I still pick Kill Bill in that. I mean, Justicium's yeah. very, very good. Very likely to add Prince Moron on the top. He's a big fan of his. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that's, it's asking a lot, isn't it? Even with a wizard, like he just hasn't really got anything on this team. And as good as he is at Blood Bowl, it, he's going to need a lot of luck on his side. I don't know. If you've had more on than a wizard, you've got two strength four elves on the pitch and a wizard. I still um, think he's going to need a lot of luck. He's going to need a lot of luck, yeah. He really is. Yeah. Right, but so I'm going to back just Dissium because I'm in a clan. I'm in two clans. No, one clan with him. Um, okay, we've got Splinter's Sewers. It is Skaven. Um, is it? Yes. Is there a team hiding there somewhere behind the dead players? I, oh, I, I see. I had to check. This I had to check because it could have been Underworld. Team. It's like it's nearly could have been an Underworld team, right? I was like, there's so few players. I'm like, is this? Is this? Well, there's <laughs> 10, um, which is... About half as many as rats really need when they face a game of Blood Bowl. Mm. Um, he's got two nice killers. He sort of forgot to bring some gutter runners, though, didn't he? And that's yeah. usually a problem. And this guy's niggled. And this looks pretty rubbish. He doesn't have a natty. Good doesn't record. Even a you know even a, a reasonable push one turner. So yeah, don't think so. Right. Thank you, some guy. Um, very nice of Oh god, he's getting fucked by Chaffs. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Right. Yeah, he's dead. 22-4-2. It's alright, innit? It's a Chaff team. It's what you expect to see, pretty much. I mean, he'll get a wizard against it, and probably be able to hire in a couple of gutter runner stars, but he probably shouldn't still be enough, I'd have thought. Yeah. Last chance versus Moo. La Moo surely is, is Elliot. Um, right. It's Norgo Gritz's Smurf account, <laughs> presumably, and that's why it's called Norgo Gritz. <laughs> um, it's Kislev. Yeah, I want to do an old called Not Purple Chest. Yeah. Um, it's Kislev. It's all right. Good record no. for Kislev, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's you know, Kislev do build. Mm -hmm. They can keep building because they most of the things they add still keep adding to the team. I've seen them up at you know twenty three hundred, still putting good skills on. Yeah. Uh, I've also seen Rick get them up that high. Separate incidents. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I don't think it's quite big enough for a Kislev team, but it's got some toys, and they can always embarrass. And uh, oh it, dear. And I think it might get embarrassed by Prick Norgo, amongst others. Um, yeah. What a what a what a what a move! Yeah, Elliot's brought filth, hasn't he? He's um, he's gone down to the nasty end of the street. <laughs> I mean, it is embarrassing to lose to this team. It's it's not it's not a very good team, is it? Um, it is a very good coach. Thirty-five yeah. nine seven. Um, it's a bit of just a fun just a fun team, I guess, from from Elliot, isn't it? Um, but you know, I'd still still fancy him to uh, to beat Kislev and win probably a few rounds after that, maybe. It's not a lot of fun, is it? <laughs> probably is for Elliot. <laughs> probably is for Elliot, yes. Um, it, I mean, that team can easily win the chalice. It can just bang everything out on the way whilst dancing and laughing. Um, it probably won't, yeah. but it could. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if it could easily, but yeah, it could. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Rat Baron. This is surely this is surely Chunter. Uh, which is interesting because uh, that sets up Chunter Elliot as a possible second round. Oh baby. Um, 
And this is are we finally going to see a good Skaven team? Uh, not really. He's got a, he's got a natty. I mean, it's it's a bit better. Looks like he finally he fired his rat ogre at the last minute, which is always good news. Yeah. Or someone killed it for him and did a huge favor there. Um, yeah. It's got a, a nice natty. The rest of the gutters aren't quite good enough, even for crystal. Yeah. Um, the killers Big aren't miss. quite killy enough. Um, I, yeah. I think he's going to struggle a little bit with that team. This also but, looks uh, like a big mistake from from Chunter. He's twenty five four, right? So it prob he was probably safe. He probably should have started like a game at the last second and conceded to get his gutter back. Yeah, that wouldn't have been a bad idea. Yeah, um, he has got a strength two tentacles. Yeah, yeah, he's got shadowing tentacles. What? It's Chunter in it. It's yeah, just, it's just Chunter things. That's. Uh, it's what you expect to see from him, really, isn't it? Yes, just... but I'm a chalice winning coach now, and people should listen to the things I say because they're important now, because everything I say is now valid because I've won the chalice. <laughs> mm. oh, I actually played this team as the cheese and changed our leg egg on, that's why he hadn't done that. Um, um, and he's going to beat Mr. Light, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's... Um... He does have two tackle mighties and, a, and a two extra tackles as well. So he's got a fair amount of tackle, but it's pretty toothless and slow and crap, isn't it? 15 5 1, though. Great record. Yeah, decent record. And he is good at Blood Bowl, but it's a, it's a, it's a fucking grotty team, isn't it? Almost I mean, I've, I've, seen, I've seen worse Kemri. They're <laughs> um, in this very chalice. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's no good. Oh, I nearly spat my tea out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Right. Yeah, I gotta pick Crystal for that one fairly easily. Yeah. Again, if you were looking for a, a consistent three to put money on, that would be one of them. Yep. Well, Ungern qualified with halflings, so that was good for him. Twenty one ten nine, that's a that's a lot of games. Very on good record. Very, yeah. very, very good fling record. Very good. And to uh, have to have endured forty games as flings. Um, he must. He must hate himself. Oh, look at the one! He's, he's super flings miss next. Yeah, and again, surely had the record, or did he just need to scrape over the seventy and sneak in? Was anyone else even playing halflings? I mean, <laughs> they were. Book. It was actually. It was actually a tough race. I, I seem to recall. Um, so well, yeah, he, yeah. He hasn't remembered to bring his best flings. Yeah, because that's his three best flings are all missing. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty brutal. Um, Sorry, three of his best four, but still. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, you can rent him, Puggy. He's sort of only quite terrible. Yeah. Uh, possibly even a Zara. Yeah. Uh, possibly Morg <laughs> and <laughs> Deep Roots. Yeah. Of course, only two. Other than that, you are reduced to mercenaries, which are not yet massively game-breakingly overpowered. No, and he's up against. Uh, ours away and who despite being a PS4 coach and a cheating uh, son of a bitch is alright at Blood Bowl so he's going to crush him oh was he one of those people that cheated massively yes along with Sergal completely got away with it <laughs> yeah yeah and he's called his team what an arsehole and... yeah he's um, okay arsehole. well yeah he's in then um, so we're against him but he's going to win the round one yep yep right West versus Free Hugs Okay. <laughs> um, oh my god. Look at this. Oof. Well, yeah, that's a thing then. A strength up pest, a strength up rotter. Um, a beast of Nurgle, warrior. Like, I hate, I hate people who just can't order their teams properly. Yeah, I know. Sort them out. It's not difficult. But this looks pretty good, doesn't it? Claw I mean, once you sort out. through, there's a lot of chaff Claw in there, God. too. But once you sort Claw through, there is there is the core of a decent team. You've got three um, Claw Mighty, uh, two on warriors, one on a, a pest, which also comes with tackle. So that's yeah. probably where you'd want them. Um, mm -hmm. You've got a couple of plus strength uh, one pestigal one rotter so that's useful it's solid but it just yeah yeah look it looked more exciting when it was all disguised by being out of order so i hope he loses yeah. just for just for misordering this team <laughs> <laughs> and he's up against hancock <laughs> uh, 
and Hanukkah got a string six tomb guardian. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Block yes, now of the Kemri's that got in, this was the one that scraped in, and yet it's by far the best team. I mean, look at it. It's actually, you know, that's a Kemri team. You can go, oh, okay, this can probably do some things. Yeah. But then it is 2000 TV, so that's probably why. Yeah. Seven guard. Dirty player, yep. 13. He can add more players as well. Like, he's got 110 of blood, so he could just add another three players and go to 16 yeah. players and, and, and stay An agility it. throw raw, so he doesn't even massively, massively fear rain. Yeah. And and, and two nice throw rars as well, so he has got, like, you know, a, in, yep. in case of a bolt, he's got the edge three to recover and stuff. So, yeah, he's... He's got a certain uh, resilience to wizards. Um, I mean, I think the move seven is a lovely safety. So, but yeah, I mean, that's it's not a bad ball carrying option either. Yeah. Um, it's it's lovely. It's a really really nice Kemri team. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Much, yeah. Not not the best record. Like I said, it just scraped in, but it's uh, it's certainly in a position now where it could really do some stuff. Yeah, and it's kind of a nice draw, really. Um, yep. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> oh, Chris is going to win this quarter. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it might be against Chunter. I, I'd, I'd probably bet on Chunter to get through all of this chaff. Yeah, this terrible as Chunter's team is, I think probably Hancock is his biggest worry in yeah. that bottom court, bottom eighth. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, and probably one of those two to end up against uh, Crucifer for you know the the quarter. Yeah. Right. Oh, chain mail. That isn't it? Nonchalant elves. Okay. It's Bazza. It's Bazza it's, it's looking pretty sus. Change your mail. Um, Bazaka Steen, you know, good friend of mine. Lovely uh, North American coach. One of the finest from North America. Obviously, that's fame praise. <laughs> yeah. um, it's it's alright, isn't it? It's, it's underdeveloped, it's but trash. it got in. It's it got trash. a record to get in. Yeah, it's four, trash. Four crap Saurus. It has got a great skink. But I mean, what's gone. there is solid, but it needs another 15 games on it. That, that, is, that is a shit team. Um, yeah, it is. But yeah, great skink. Like, imagine if you took uh, Tri's team <laughs> that he wouldn't CCL with and then put that skink on it. It would just be, like, <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> but unfortunately... Oh, but that skink is pretty much a game winner on its own. Yeah. Uh, of course, not a, a one-turner there. Yes, yes. Only Even with nine. sprint. Uh, because of the move nine. <laughs> this is a good me, me not knowing anything about Blood Bowl, isn't it? <laughs> um, and he's up against Nonchalant Elves. Um, which is Unconcerned Elf. Which is quite a quite an appropriate name. Uh, this looks about the limit of what that Lizard Man team could beat, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this actually looks like a possibly competitive game. There's probably a bit much blodge for the lizards. Yeah. Um, but the lizards won't be, you know, won't be necessarily fearing it compared to some of the monsters they could be facing. And they will possibly have a wizard on top, which with that super skin could mean some sexy things. Yeah. Uh, probably won't, though. I would, uh, I mean, if it wasn't Bazakistein, I'd heavily back the uh, the elves. Exactly, yeah, yeah. But uh, you can roll pals as well, right? But yeah, there's a lot of blood there. And it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's pro probably too much. Yeah, I, I, I'd definitely back the elves in that one. But Bazaar is good, and he has got a, uh, a super skink. He does. And uh, this is a chap with chaos, <laughs> not orcs. Yep, that's the one. Um, it's... I don't know, it's an orc team. I I hate everything he's done with this. The colours on the names, yuck. Yeah. Um, I want them to lose just for that, and I don't want to say any more. I yeah. mean, it's an orc team. There's there's probably a bit much blodge on it, but yeah, it looks solid. Yeah. I mean, blodge black orcs are not quite as good as people think they are. Yeah. Um, once they're blodge firm, though, they are incredibly annoying. Yeah, and he's up, but he's only got one completed yeah. along that path. Yeah, yeah, a pair of those would be an utter nightmare. But um, yeah, yeah. De decent, decent, but not spectacular. Yeah. Right, and he's up against Necronorm. Um, with with undead. Undead. And yeah, 
I mean, that's yeah. about where I'm dead top out if they don't get stats. These have got a couple of stats. And yet they still look roughly topped out, don't they? I mean, what else are you going to add on there that would just be bloke? So they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Sorry, I'm falling asleep looking at these teams. Um, one well, of those I mean, those teams undead will win. Inspiring. Yes. <laughs> one of those teams will win that match. Yep. Right. <laughs> The funky colours one, if you definitely want a gambling prediction. Yeah. Um, the dirty players. Oh, this is Ducky. Oh, well, okay, Leaf. Yeah, the, the girls were all right, yeah. Um, yeah, it was all all right. This is Ducky. Uh, Ducky's, Ducky's got a nice team, hasn't he? 2.2k Nurgle. Um, yeah. Very, very solid. Uh, really nice, strong guard block base. Plenty of claw mighty. Uh, again, the, the very standard two heads. Um, sure hands ball carrier. It's It's got everything you'd want. Not a lot of bloat, and yet still ends up huge. Still got to fear the wizard and anything dodgy, but yeah, that's going to um, gonna kill some things. And an armor six killer is atrocious. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's ducky, and it's it's a really 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 powerful team isn't it um so yeah he's my new favorite for this uh for this section of the draw <laughs> and he's up against undead and he's going to smash them to pieces because they're just a crappy undead team there you Oof. go but 17-6-0 so yeah nice record but yeah there's not enough here for 1600 is there no. And even with 600 inducements, wizard no, you, count. It's very hard to imagine the story where those end up beating Ducky's team. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't see it. I can't see I it. I mean, through ghouls and a whiz, maybe add in the count for some hypno cheat. That might be a route, but it's going to be, you know, you've got your work cut out there. Oh, boy, but look what's going to happen in the next round after he beats those. <laughs> He's going to go up against the winner of this match. And one now of them this is, is PTK. Slightly my fault. Um, so PTK said he was bored with the CCL and constantly doing all the same stuff. And I said, well, then challenge yourself. Take a tier three team. And he laughed and went, oh, ho, ho, like what? I said, obviously goblins. <laughs> he said, no. And I said, ha, ha, then Bretonians before they die. And he did. And it led to this. So sorry. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty good, <laughs> it's, isn't it? It's, it's about as good as I think Bretonians are going to get. There's still a few things you might want to add there. A couple more stand firms on the yeoman, or blockers, as they I think you call them here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look at that. It's it's big. It's deep. It can foul. It doesn't mind if it loses peasants. It's got thousands more. Um, it's got really really nice knights and very very solid yeoman. I I think it's going to be a trouble for anyone, yeah. except it's still Bretts, which you know it's still means Brett's. it does come with those limitations. Yeah. But there is, it is PTK at the helm, and he is the best player at Blood Bowl, a game played by. Oh, no. yeah, are you still saying that Ducky's got this quarter all wrapped up? Or are, no. now, are, you, are, you, ooh, are you all a flutter? No, I mean, it'll be an interesting match. It'll be an interesting match uh, when, uh, when, uh, when, uh, when uh, Ducky smashes PTK in the second round. PTK might not even get in the second round because he's up against Bright. With uh... Wow, what a triple this is. So whatever Ducky faces, it's going to be one of the two very, very good coaches with something um, something very hard to handle. So Bretonians versus Vamps, that's uh, an interesting matchup you don't see every day. Yeah. Um, both huge rosters, but the Vamps are probably going to get a Wiz uh, and not much else on top. Maybe a Wiz and a, a Apo. Um, they've got nice vampires. There's probably one too few thralls, but probably they can get away with it. They can buy one as well. Yeah. Ah, uh, so... that's going to be a hell of a game. We've now got two crackers in the first round. PTK versus Bright. And uh, Rick Reckless versus someone I forget who. <laughs> Dio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes, the sniper himself. Yeah. Oh, God, this guy's got an annoying fucking team, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah, I already want uh, Griffith. No, I don't want him to win either. No, no, all right. Can, can both can of these lose, please? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can, we just, can we have new teams? <laughs> right, it's Paul. 
it's Paul with um, again Necro. Yeah, yeah. Fall guard. Um, yeah, like undead, they've reached about the top of the tree unless they start getting extraordinary stat ups, haven't he, they? Well, no, they haven't reached the top of the tree. He hasn't got, he hasn't got fleshies. I thought, you know, I was just looking and thinking, where's the fleshies? You're yeah. absolutely right. My goodness. Yeah, that's why he's only seventeen, sixteen, so like two k. Yeah, because they can top at two k necro. Um, he hasn't got the money for both. He could buy one, mm. or is he just is he playing without them? And is that the new meta for necro? Well, thirty-three, four, ten says maybe that's not a bad record either. That's not good enough, and it's not. <laughs> Wrong on both counts, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy conceding your first round match. <laughs> and he's up against he's up against a necro mirror. Um versus Yeah. This And these are up at, at well nineteen hundred. Um They don't look a lot better, except they've got no. two flesh columns. So yeah. yeah. The wolves are worse, aren't they? That's the thing. Yeah. Um but Yeah, I'm, but how good the wolves need to be? Well, exactly. I'll I think I'd pick uh, as well, yeah. Syrup there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> right. The Blazing Balls versus a big team. It's Danton with Pro Elves. And it's a Pro Elf team. Yeah, it's um, depressing how light all the elf teams go in, doesn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. It'd really be nice to see some 1900, 2000 elves. Yeah. But of course, the way to get a good record on elves is to stay nice and light and tight. Stay out of the way of the big nasties, if you possibly can. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that was a... But it does lead to thing. slightly uninspiring elf teams like that. I mean, they're fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, up against Necro. And it, oh wow, look at this. Two edge, four wolves. Both blodge, one with mighty blow. Two fleshies. Uh, four guard. An edge, four ghoul, but movement busted. Um, this is more interesting. Funny how it's all necro in the same like section together, isn't it? Three yes, they are. Ones. And if you put all, all three of them together and got the highlights from each, there might be one decent necro team there. Yeah. Um, they're all sort of okay. None of them are terrible. Don't get me wrong. Just none of them have quite enough to make you think they're going to go deep. No, no, I agree. I agree. Very, very underwhelming. Uh, but that's funny that it's going to be necro fit, necro mirror, and then the, you know if the necro win the first round, there will be another Possibly necro. Possibly another, yeah, second. rewarded with another necro mirror. Yeah. Underpants. Oh well, this is a great team name here. Underpants norms. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's halflings. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's halflings. Well, bye halflings. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> well done, Joker. Really good record. And, uh, and stayed golden. incredibly light. Um, so they'll be able to get, you know, more Deep Root, Zara, whatever they want, but it probably won't be enough. No. And I've already forgotten who he was up against. God, it's re this is really hard to do. <laughs> uh, it would be it would be helpful if like you know Cyanide's game was better, but it's not, is it? Like you know, if, if you were making a computer game, right, you would obviously have it. So you just clicked on the teams, and it would take you to the teams. Like that's the most obvious thing to do ever, isn't it? it? Like, it yes, it would seem like that should be a functionality they built it. How is that not a thing? Well, um, because they did it cheaply and quickly. Under. At times, I'm surprised how well they did it, considering how slapshot, <laughs> terrible, and rough-edged quite a lot of it is. Yeah. The fact that it hangs together at all. Yeah. <laughs> Put your underpants on your head, stick a couple of pencils up your nose, and enjoy going out in the first round <laughs> to these humans. <laughs> there you yep. go. <laughs> Perfect team to murder flings. I can't see them having any problems at all. No. Should smash them to pieces. Yeah, that's that done. <laughs> right. Caprion versus Fumble. Do you think that's Caprion's team? It could be, yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, it is. Um, I'm he's slightly disappointed by the underwhelming naming then. Yeah. Um, he's got a claw. Yeah. He's got a claw, mate. Why? 
Yeah, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, it's alright. Right, as far as Underworld go, 1570 TV as well. Yeah, it's not. There's no. There's no bloat there, but it's still just underwhelm. And they, you know, they'll be all right. They might do a round or two. Yeah. Good luck to them. What are they up against? Woodies. Two K Woodies. <laughs> um. Oh wow. Yeah. A strength four edge six dancer, but no tackle. Oh, he's got a tackle on this dancer. Yeah, they're not. The the underworld are out. This is so. 19, how is this 1990 though? He's like doesn't seem to have anything. The Strength and double agility dancer is probably about a quarter of a yeah, he is like two hundred fifty k. He's got right two there. quarter of a million dancers. Yeah, that's 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 a quarter of the team is those two players. Yeah, and that's without rerolls. That's without <laughs> you know, fan factor. That's literally a quarter of the entire team is two players. And I'm not I'm not sure the edge the edge six one is good enough to justify it. You know, I think if it had tackle, it'd be better than being edge six. To be honest. Yes, and six does very little. Although at least in Blood Bowl three it does do some things. It's not supposed to Blood Bowl two, um, but yes. yeah, it's not a particularly great skill. But it's lots of fun. Yeah, and, not and some of the things it can do. I mean, you know, picking it up in the middle of three tackle zones with whilst not really caring is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like I, I had an edge six uh, wood elf lineman once, and I absolutely loved it. So yeah, I had an edge six uh, high elf thrower, um, which was just beautiful. He just wandered into the middle of things, picked balls up, and casually threw them all the way down the field <laughs> in two tackle zones. So I reckon this is between PTK and Ducky, isn't it? Probably. Maybe. Bright, yes, but, but there's a lot of fun to be had in there. It's yeah. not just all about who wins it. Um, no. But yes, it'll be one of those two. Yeah, yeah there's lots I've of fun thought. to be had. <laughs> <laughs> right, next up, going to the final quarter of the draw, we've got Orcs. Bill Borkos, and this is a trash old team, 1700 TV, it's absolutely bare bones. God, talk about where's the TV, where's the TV there? <laughs> 210 on this blitzer. <laughs> I mean, is, he, is he hiding it? I was. I just looked to see if there was, you know, 8 coaches or 15 re-rolls, but there isn't. I, no, oh 190 on this, it's the same as the Wood Elf team, quarter of the TV on two players. But I don't think that's going to work as well on Orcs. Well, unlike, yeah, unlike something. the Wood Elf team, that's not going to work. And he needed to put 10 more games on that team. Yeah, I think But he got to the chalice with it, and it, it, it will now presumably lose, unless he's got very lucky on the draw. Yeah. Oh, this is AI opponent. Um, <laughs> I is, is, is this the remade team of who, of who it's meant to be? Someone hasn't accepted their team yet. Um, oh, okay. And I guess this is the team. I don't know who it is. Is it Mankers? No, it can't be sure. Mankers had a good record. This is I don't know if this isn't a real this is the team or what, but it's it's a team anyway. Right, brilliant. If this is if this is the team that qualified, then this has got to be one of the worst teams to have ever qualified for Chalice if this is the actual yeah, team that's on stage. Awful. Um I don't believe that can be the team, can it? It can't be. Okay, yeah, it's, this can't be the team. It's it's an AI team, but this can't be. The, this is this is your team. Oh, Mankis says that is his team, and it might be him. This can't be. You, this this is it the team name, but not. This can't be the team. This uh, they didn't recreate the team for us, did they? They probably just put in a random team that they had. And that's not the team, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. That that that's versus Mankis. Oh God, we've got we've got to do it as well, haven't we? Right. This is so annoying. Yeah, Cafe Beans says it's a generated team because of the SPP, he could tell. Uh, why don't I look for rank? I was trying to look for mank. <laughs> right, okay, this is more, this is more. This was top of the league, wasn't it? This is top of the league. This is the top leaderboard team. 32-4-2. Lovely. Um, very, so yeah, we, we've, got, we've got to look at this team. It is not the one. It is not the one. Um, it is yeah, it's substantially better than the team that is in. It's still yeah, not that yeah, good, that's, though, I don't think. No, no, that's got... I mean, on a Chaos team, it's, look, it's got two lovely, hitty Chaos Warriors that then also just happen to have got Guard at the end to add stability. It's got two really solid foundations. Um, block Guard Mighty. I'm uh, sorry, block, block Firm Guard. With, on the AV9 strength 4, it's got a lovely kill piece. 
uh, but it hasn't gone overly killy to stop the bloat. It's got a plus strength, which means it can blitz at strength five if it needs to. It's got a reasonable ball carrier. I mean, it's it's really solid without being bloaty. Mm. Um, there's no fat on it, but it, mm. yes, I see what you mean. It could have maybe just a couple more beastmen with a few more skills. I mean, it could have tackle on the killer for a start and, and other stuff. But yeah, weird. Yeah, weird. Um, Lovely chaos warriors though. Yeah, really yeah. nice. Yeah, I think it's pretty bare bones. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not really impressed by that team. Um, to be honest, but obviously an amazing record, and uh, he did fantastic. And he's going to crush the shit out of this orc team. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, um, I think behind those chaos warriors, you can build an incredible offense and defense. Yeah. But if it suddenly in a game one or two of them go down, then that's yeah. There's not a lot left behind them. Yeah. And this is Chorfs, a, a low TV Chorf team. Uh, crap bulls. Yep. And looks like they've had to replace the bulls, but they've managed to keep the CDB mostly alive. Yeah. Um, if that other one was there, I'd give them half a shout because the bulls are probably okay. Yeah. Nice record, um, twenty-six. Wide. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's got to try and not get norsed though in the first round, <laughs> because yes, Ice Ice Yeti is indeed a Norse team, and. Uh, that's a Norse team. Norse teams always look like they've got nothing or a ridiculous TV. 1810 for this. Like, it's like. Yeah, where? Is the TV I mean, where? Wow, where? <laughs> um, I mean, does anyone get cursed with Fan Factor more than Norse? Because surely that 11 Fan Factor is costing him about 500 TV here. <laughs> <sighs> it's the plus strength Ulf, isn't it? Again, that's a hugely bloaty piece. And remember, strength is going up in price in Blood Bowl 3 and Blood Bowl 2020. Yeah. Uh, from 50 to 80, so they'll be even bloatier. Um, it's the plus agility and all the bonus skills on the runner. They don't come super cheap to start with. It's the fact that he's got a Yeti at all, which are obviously terrible. Yeah. But, I mean, in the Chalice, you need it. But getting to the Chalice, you possibly don't. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's not... It's Norse, isn't it? Like you say, if it gets Norsing on something early, fine. But it's and not likely to. <laughs> And he's only got two rerolls as well at 800, and I think he still doesn't seem to have a lot. Mad stuff. And rerolls are cheap as chips on them anyway. I mean, they're only 60, aren't they? So. Yeah. Well, we've got Stand by November um, with Undead Team. Um, he's got a lot of skills on zombies here, hasn't he? 2020, yeah. you very rarely see such high TV uh, Undead as. Yeah, and if you do, it tends to be because there's a plus strength mummy, or I mean, there is a plus strength white here, but unfortunately, with the more you look, the more you realise quite a bit of that is bloat on the zombies that probably won't end up punching its TV. <laughs> I mean, it's you don't it's think not the, bad for twenty twenty. You, you don't think the strength two and one <laughs> cool and zombie in ninety k and he's four two one eight. <laughs> I mean, he's got guard, and they obviously don't need the agility. But uh, I think I would sack him and, and and sack this, like sack these two, and you've dropped 190, and the team looks a lot better, doesn't it? You know? Yeah, yeah. I think I'd probably rather just have um, rookie zombies there. Yeah. And he's up but some people, Shtor. you know, like to build around that. Yeah. He's up against Store with a more a more TV efficient team, much more TV efficient. Seventeen seventy. Um, and he's got guard on everybody. He's got a pommer. He's got some stand firm. He's got more guard down here. This is a much yeah, more TV I, efficient. It's, it's, yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, the only thing I don't like, the only skill I would change there is the piling on. Yeah, and he's, um, he's pretty fucking good at blood ball as well, isn't he, Stahl? <laughs> I'm I, I'm not even so sure about the fend, but that's a really interesting piece. The uh, the blood firm fend. Hmm. Oh no, it's Blodge from Mighty Blade. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. Mm. Uh, a little smear on my glasses there. Um, yeah, no, literally the only skill I would change probably is the piling on. I think the rest of that is all just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Really efficient. No bloat. All the skills where you'd want them. Yeah. If you had to pick skills one by one and put them on an undead team that to that size, that's probably where you'd put them. It's yeah. great. The only problem... That's going to win, I would hope. Yes. The only problem is that it's like, it is a kind of low TV team, isn't it? And, uh, you know, against the big teams, it's going uh, to 
probably. And of course, the the sickness within Stor's soul, because he'll know every time he looks at the screen that he's not coaching his beloved halfling. <laughs> That's true. Um, and that he's sold out just to try and get cheap wins. Yeah, twenty three. So we'll see if he, we'll see if he can conquer that that inner darkness. This is very very uh, light chaffs on this team, isn't there? <sighs> yeah, is it ever? They're just um, a few little guard chaffs. I mean, in some way, it's beautifully efficient. Yeah. I mean, one more guard there, um, and I'd say, wow, that's min max to the max. Yeah. It's got its killer. It's got break tackle block bulls. One of which is blodge. That's good. Although that one's lost AV, which is bad. It's got a really nice ball carrier so that the bulls don't have to. And it's got guard on all of its um, blockers. That's all fine. Yeah. But 10 more games on that could be a really good team. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of teams that look like they wanted another 10 games on them, isn't there? Um, oh. Thomas T's back. Um, is this is he facing the Chorfs? Oh, he is, yeah. This player, it's I made him like it myself, and it's just yeah, terrible. it's a mistake, Jim. It yeah, is. I'm, not, I'm never going to do it again. 18 Good. 6 1. Um, and yeah, that's a lot of TV on this. Again, I can name you eight skills better in that stack than the, the piling on. <laughs> the mighty blow isn't terrible, though some would say that's a mistake too, and the tackle's fine. Yes. Uh, but the piling on, there's yeah, eight, eight or nine skills that are better there. Yeah. Um, it's other than that, that team's fine. It's got a nice agility witch that's going to be really, really useful. Do all sorts of fun things with agility five witch. Uh, it's that leap he's taken on her. Huh? Yes. Yeah, Brilliant. Leap. Um, so a leap, agility five wrestle witch. You can surf things from behind lines at two red dice fairly reliably. Um, Juggernaut there would be just absolutely masterful if he gets that as the next skill. Um, it's fine. He's going to have to get a little bit lucky because he is lacking. The ability to stay alive, I noticed when I faced him. Yeah, um, but, but, but there's not that much mighty blow on the chaffs, right? No, the, the so chaffs are not that dangerous, so it should yeah. sort of, kind of favouring Thomas there. Yeah, probably. Right. Next up, we've got oh Zons. <laughs> Zons will never win Chalice, as decreed by Dimmy G. Um, might have rolled a double for guard on one of these. Uh, he's got four, five, six guarders. Some mighty blow. Yeah, it's all fine, isn't it? It's Some nice. Uh, juggernaut. Um, yeah. A nice hitter that hasn't taken POM, um, so it's built nicely. It's yeah. all. It's a really solid Amazon team. Yeah. Um, it could go reasonably well. Yeah, TV efficient. Very, very, really, very, really very nice team, actually. And it shouldn't have to face those chorfs. They should get knocked out. <laughs> there hasn't been any dwarves in this quarter that I've seen so far, so that's the two worries it would uh, normally worry about. Sort of removed. Ooh, um, well, Dark, ah, it's pretty good at Blood Bowl, and this is a pretty, ah, yeah. pretty decent team, isn't it? The wolves. That is, and it's got two very, very hitty wolves. Yeah. Um, lacking much tackle outside of the wolves, though, and that does bring controllability problems. Yeah. But as you said, Diamond pretty good at the Blood Bowls. Yeah. Lacking guard on his fleshes, though. So yeah, yeah I think I, I think I'd uh, I think I'd pick Lazarus a... for this one. Seventeen. I did too. It's a, it's, that's going to be that's going to be another cracking game of Blood Bowl. It sure is. Yeah, um, I, yeah that's another one I would really like to watch. That's going to be an awesome match. Yeah. Um, yeah, really tough one to pick there. I, I'm I'm not as confident as you. <laughs> Uh, but I, I suppose if I had to put money on it, I would put them slightly on the Zons. But oh, yeah, I'd put it on the Zons. Um, this is Yak. He's an absolute madman. <laughs> He's got kids. What, what, with the why? And then, but what? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's Yak. Yeah. He. <laughs> mm. It's Yak. He's well, madman, that's right? yes. There we go. Yeah, yeah. You'd probably match have five. Wizard. Very useful. That's pretty good, isn't it? Um, up against PI. He might be up against vampires here, mightn't he? If. Uh, if. No, oh, it's chaos. Okay. Well. Okay, I guess they're going to get. Oh, God, he's got a fan favourite. 23 um, 9 he's played his 30 so he'll get the fan favourite next season too 
Um, they're proper killy. They're not that inspiring, but they're you know they're solid. They've got some skills to come to allow them to tailor. They are bigger. There will be a wizard involved for Yak, but surely they've got to have enough to take out the kids left. They've got enough guard to keep the ball safe from leapers. They should be fine. Yeah. I said it could be vampires, holy shit, but it's it's not vampires, and yeah, it looks like they should smash the shit out of the kids left there. Easy win for Guesty on a door. Absolutely zero chance of it going wrong for him. Good thing you're not prone to paranoia, Jimmy, or else sometimes it might feel like there's 200 people just waiting for you at every slip to mark you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Country lizards! Oh, don't. Glorious. Um, why did yeah. he play more games, though? Yeah, he should have played the team a bit. Well, yeah. he's played 21 games on them. He must have... Well, I mean, sometimes lizards get going slow, don't they? I mean, what's there is great, but imagine what 10 more games on that could do. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. just at the position where you know, you're starting to look dangerous. 15-10, it's a really nice team value to be at. Yeah, and it's I mean, even a 1,500 like dwarves, which build filthy, would really struggle rolling into that. Yeah. So... The problem is that, yeah, if you've got that good a record, you can also at that point start rolling into 2,000 kill teams, which this could not handle. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, get exactly. I, get, so, yeah. I get why the Lizards stop if they get to this point, but it's it just means they're not going to handle it in the chalice. To be fair, though, the, like, what's he called? Uh, you know, the, the star player that they get is so fucking good. This is like... Silly maybe Billy. Really good. Yeah, Slibly. Silly Billy. Yeah, you, you had Silly Billy... And make yep. this like seventeen odd, and it looks better than than adding. Yeah, which is one less on. one less skink on the pitch as well, isn't it? And at least mm -hmm. there's no bloat on the skinks. Um, yeah. I don't know if he's been firing them, but it's uh, it's always nice when there isn't too many skills on the skinks. Yeah. You know that one block short uh, sidestep is probably about as good a skink as you need. Yeah. Unless you get in a plus agility one, like we saw in that other team with the super skink. Oh wow! Oh my god! This could be embarrassment for Ordunt. <laughs> oh boy, howdy! <laughs> Boy, howdy! He's a big Wow. Um, August. Yeah. Um, well, look, he's going to get. Right now, he can get either Slibly or the Wizard. Yeah. Um, and I think either way, he still has enough, probably, to deal with this. Yeah, but th this is like this. I I've always felt, and it sounds stupid, but I've always felt that, like, Lizards aren't that bad a matchup for Ogres because. Their strengths, like the yep. strengths of lizards, while it's horrific for most teams, they're kind. They're just playing into your strengths, aren't they? Like the strength fours are no better than strength threes against uh, against no. noblars, yeah. and they're yeah. no better Unless than strength threes against ogres. It still takes three lizards to gang up on an ogre, so yes, the strength advantage disappears. Yeah. Um, but the skinks are so much better than noblars. Yeah. However, there are a lot more noblars. Um, yeah. It's certainly an interesting matchup, isn't it? Yeah. What I find interesting is I look at this ogre team. And it's not as scary as the Rick Reckless BBSL one. <laughs> no, it's um, not, no. Despite being 1720. <laughs> um, no. So, yeah, that's interesting. Um, of course, it has a lot of break tackle, which uh, Rick uh, struggled for. Yes, the um, guard, and it didn't, he didn't manage to roll six doubles on his augers, unfortunately. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. That, that it, I, I still don't see them beating the lizards. I think those lizards have just about enough. I mean, just the block on all of the lizards should be enough. Yeah, I mean, it should be obviously, but it, it's. It, I never feel it's as bad as. No, as no, it it's not of one of the worst be. matchups. I mean, any elf against those ogres, you just think, oh well, how many do the elves score then, don't you? Oh, it's Singolo's the last match. Right, um, with his absolutely horrific, disgusting. Dwarf team. I don't see what's the problem. It's dwarfs. It's, it's so fine. good, isn't it? It's so good. It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. I really genuinely don't. And I thought I understood dwarves. <laughs> um, but this can get this can do better things than I can do with dwarves. Mm. And look at it, it's just Yeah. The only wow. thing is the only thing is I feel like it's too min maxed. In terms of it could just have two blitzers and it would only be 20 more TV and it'd be so much better if you ask me. It, I think but, it really would too, but he doesn't like blitzers and he thinks one AG3 is plenty. Yeah. And that move four everywhere else, although he still does have one Slayer, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, but he's famously as careful with them as I am with mine. So, I, I mean, <laughs> someone's going to kill his ball carrier one game because he's not very careful with them. <laughs> it's all real then. 
nonsense. Oh no! <laughs> wow, another cracking matchup. Oh, that Singolo's going to win fairly easily. This is oh, this is exactly God. the sort of team he can grind into dust. Oh God, I'm so glad I didn't bother putting games on my elf team to qualify my high elves to qualify because I would have taken Orioles as a spot and got and got yeah, Singolo in the first this round. This is just going to get mushed. <laughs> Singolo uh, gets a wizard as well. <laughs> Yeah, so Oriolensis' team is going in a wood chipper. Now, now you say that, Jim, but of course Oriolensis does have 160 in the bank. He yeah. can overdog a wizard in. He could, yeah. And as there's not much Singolo can get that's going to make his team any filthier than it is, I would have full-on overdog the wizard in here. I think that's the route yeah. forwards. Yeah. There is only the one AG3 piece. If you can just run away a lot yeah. and then wizard his ball carrier down and take the ball, there's a route to a victory there. Yeah. Yeah, it's doable, isn't it? 15 for it one. Um, it definitely is. Yeah, there's a chance. But, That's uh, going to be a good game, actually. Yeah. Um, but it is going to revolve on that wizard turn. And you do have to overdog the wizard in. And I just hope Aurelensis is smart enough to do that. Yeah. Um, and this looks like Singolo's half end, doesn't it, really? I would I would bet on him to, to, to take that half of the draw, to be but honest. But Aurelensis is overdogging a wizard in and beating him. I've just told you how, Jimmy. Yeah, so, he's still gonna he's still gonna roll all the dice and not have his team die before he gets to fire the wizard. And, but yeah, obviously anyone can lose, right? Anyone can lose, and a, and a wizard um, does definitely give. All it's the weakest the of the four quarters to me so far, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does seem the weakest of it, and it does seem a, almost a clear run. Oh, there's Mankiz, of course. Yeah, I think Mankiz's team is possibly the uh, the dominant, the 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 bull, the silverback gorilla in this particular herd. Yeah, all right, all right. I forgot that Mankiz, because it's this stupid crawling shredders, which isn't his team. But yes, okay, yeah. yeah. Mankiz's team isn't that good, I don't think. But obviously, he got a great record and he knows how to play Blood Bowl. So I guess it's going to be a collision course between him and Singolo to see who wins this group um, this quarter. So yeah, yeah, I guess, Ma I don't know. I, I don't think it's that. I really don't think Mankiz's team is that good. Um, but then obviously, his record's incredible. So there you go. But I, it, it, is what it is. Um, it's certainly good enough to beat those min max dwarves, though, um, if he faces them. So probably Mankiz to win that quarter. Um, this quarter, Ducky. Yeah. Yeah. This quarter, Chunter. It's a oh, very Cruise. Cruise. Cruise for maybe yeah. Cruise. And then this one. Um, Devil, because his team is incredible, and the other two teams he is, and he's. Let I me mean, jokes aside. He is, yeah, he is well due uh, a decent run in a chalice. Yeah. Um, it may not be this chalice, but it, it is coming. He's not going to keep losing first round every round. He's too good a coach for that. Yep. So there you go. We did it. We did Here it we just over an hour. Pretty good. Hour and a quarter, or well, hour and ten. Yeah, that's pretty decent, isn't it? And we actually said things that were sort of interesting and pertinent about most of the teams. Yeah. Except the complete, what the hell are you doing here? Well done. <laughs> now, just for those people, if you don't feel we've given you due fitting time and attention, um, call your mum or your partner <laughs> and tell them that you've got your team into the chalice <laughs> and you're surprised they haven't given you more attention and, and love and respect for it yet and see how that goes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Purple Chest. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.